the other functions of the liver. So the liver is a remarkable organ and only the brain is capable of a great variety of functions. The liver cells, hepatocytes, produce many enzymes that catalyze many different chemical reactions. These reactions are the functions of the liver. As blood flow through the sinusoid to the, of the liver, materials are removed by the liver cells and the products of the liver cells are secreted into the blood. Some of the liver functions will already be familiar to you. Others are mentioned again and discussed in more detail in the next chapter. Because the liver has such varied effects on so many body systems, we will use the category below to summarize the liver functions. Basically, uh, we know brain is the main organ of the body. Okay. Likewise, in the digestive system, liver is brain. Okay. Uh, liver is like brain to digest the all the materials which are sent by the uh, uh, by, uh, by means of observation to the liver okay by the uh, portal system okay so it is catalyzed so i already told you that if you give uh, one bucket of water to drink it is difficulty to drink so if you give one glass of water to drink we will be able to drink easily. Okay, we cannot take the bucket and we will starting and we cannot put our whole uh, head or mouth into the bucket because all the water will become uh, it will become very bad. Okay, and other person will not able to drink the water. So better is to drink the water into the from the glass. So likewise here the liver also doing the same process to the further body. So whatever digestive system done from starting phase to absorption phase, so it is one part. From the absorption to metabolism. Metabolism is the process. The cell is taking the nutrition from the blood. The cell is taking the all the important materials from the blood. So who is doing that? Liver is doing that. Liver is doing uh, that process. So from that process, only we will be able to digest. Means the actual amount of food we will get. Okay, with the help of liver. Okay, so because I told that liver is the brain of the digestive system. Okay, so let's discuss the different types of process. Basically, these are the uh, process which will clearly understood in the biochemistry because all the chemicals are releasing by the liver okay to digest the food not the digest to metabolize the food okay to bring the uh, main core of the uh, of food okay to the cell so first of all it will release so we will discuss some important uh, metabolism process by the liver. So we have carbohydrate metabolism. So whatever we eat food, it will present of carbohydrate. I means simple sugars. As you know, the liver regulates the blood glucose level. Excess glucose is converted to glycogen when blood glucose is high. The hormones, insulin and cortisol facilitate the process. During hypoglycemic or stress situation, a glycose is, glycogen is converted to the glucose to raise the blood glucose level. Epinephrine and glucagon are the hormones that facilitate this process. First function is hydro uh, carbohydrate metabolism. So basically from the simple sugars, it is storing the sugars in the form of glycogen. So the, the term used for the glucose after for the storage is glycogen. So whenever you are necessary okay, for the glucose, Whenever you are in stress condition, whenever you are empty stomach, so what will liver do? Liver again convert the glycogen into the glucose. So which hormones are helping? Epinephrine and glucagon. So two hormones are helping. So this is the first function of the liver. The second function is okay, amino acid metabolism. Already we know that proteins are converted into the amino acid. So here is the complete process. Uh, it is mostly 
biochemical part so i am skipping that so you have to just remember that it is uh it will do the function of amino acid metabolism because it will be confusion to you so we'll uh, we'll uh, talk in the biochemistry part so another part is lipid metabolism so it is also important because we we are we need lipid we need fat for the function okay our body need fat okay lipid metabolism so here is the simplest form of the lipid that is lipoprotein lipids and proteins so basically till the fats are transported in the blood or other tissues so what will do it will synthesize okay cholesterol and excrete excess cholesterol into the bile to eliminate in feces. So what will uh, liver do? They will store some amount of lipid. If there is excess amount of lipid is there in the blood, what will liver do? Liver will, -ray, uh, uh, will excrete with the help of bile from the feces. Okay. So basically uh, fatty acids are necessary for the energy, energy production. So, we need carbohydrates, we need fatty acids. Okay. So, so from that here, I will tell you that our body need oily substances. means fatty acid, fat, fat substance. So, natural oil give that thing. Not refined oil, not uh, anything that is getting from the market. Okay. So, basically, the pure form of the oil from the ground nuts, almond, anything or any uh, beans, okay, it will have high amount of fatty acids and they are easily digestible by the stomach because they, it is the form of nature. So our body is also natural. So if you are taking natural fatty acid, natural oil, so our digestive system will easily digest that. Understood. Everyone is able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No so basically, uh, so you need fatty acids. And our brain also needs fatty acids. It is also made up of fat. Okay, so basically we need natural fatty acids. So all the bees, all the uh, dry fruits have large amount of fatty acids which are helping to build the energy system so but we are unfortunately we are not taking natural food natural diet or natural oil the mark the, the availability of natural oil in the market is we know about that so so basically uh, i think the coconut oil and groundnut oil are the best and other this is my oil. So everything, these are the oils are best for the digestive system. And actually our body need also that. So basically this is the, uh, it will metabolize the lipid also. And fourth function is uh, uh, proteins. Proteins here, the main uh, function of the proteins already we um, talked about in the uh, circulatory system because uh, the arteries are sending the blood, the important substances to the cell with the pressure of 37 to 38 or 40 mm. Okay. And again, unwanted material have to become. So here, the pressure of the, uh, here we have to maintain the pressure, osmotic pressure. So we need protein. So that is here, that is albumin. So albumin will, whenever al albumin is helping us to maintain the body fluids. So if the albumin is less, what will happen? The patient will have edema in the in the uh, legs, in the face. So it is the indication of liver failure or liver problems. Okay. Next, it will produce number of already talked about clotting factors, globulins, alpha and beta. Okay, so to, which will 
uh, which will uh, which will stop the uh, clotting in the blood because forcefully the blood is touching to the uh, arteries, the internal uh, tuchum membrane. We know that that internal uh, membrane of the artery. So what will happen? We the yeah, the chances of blood become clot. Okay, so here we have the clotting factors which will produce by the liver will maintain the blood flow easily. And other than that, whenever we have rupture of the artery, rupture of the membrane, so we need clotting factors. Okay, here the blood will not get outside of the artery or the vein. The clotting factors will help us. Okay. And the fifth function is formation of bilirubin. Okay. We already talked about bilirubin is very important and is the source of uh, from the initial stage of the RBC. Already we talked in the blood part. And is the, and another very important that is production of kaffir cells or the kaffir cells are present in the liver. Basically, uh, to maintain the pH level, we need kaffir cells. And another function is to destroy RBC. RBC have to be destroyed after the uh, their, uh, their uh, period is ended. They have to be destroyed. So who take the responsibility here? The phagocyte who kaffir cells. Okay. Phagocyte pathogens or other foreign material that circulate through the liver, many of the bacteria that get to the liver from comb come from the colon. This bacteria are part of the normal flora of the colon, but would be very harmful elsewhere in the body. The bacteria that enter the blood with the water absorbed by the colon are carried to the liver by way of water circulation. The kaffir cells in the liver phagocytic and destroy their bacteria, removing them from the blood before the blood returns to the heart. So here... So one important another function is given that our colon have bacteria. Okay, it is normal for it will not uh, nothing uh, harm uh, will cause harm to the colon. But if we enter into the portal circulation to the other body parts, it will cause harm to the organ and other body parts. So basically, from the digestive system, from the small intestine. The circulatory system will con uh, will reach to the liver. Then after from liver to the other heart, heart to the other body parts. So what will liver have? Liver have kaffir cells. They will destroy this bacteria. They will eat that bacteria and the blood becomes very clean and it will reach to the heart and heart from the body. Okay, this is very important. Next is storage. Already we know that it will store the glucose, it will store the fat, and here it will also store fat-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins, that is A, D, E, and K. And water-soluble vitamins also B12. Okay, A and D may be stored. And beef or chicken liver is the excess, excellent diet source of these vitamins. Okay, also stored by the liver and uh, are the mineral iron. Iron also stored, copper also stored. Okay, so these are the things are stored in the liver. So it has a number of functions. Next is detoxification. It is another important function of the liver. Okay, because whatever you are eating, it will digest, it will absorb and it will reach to the liver. Whatever uh, you are eating. Okay, so basically, it will if you will good food, it will cause nothing to the liver. If you are eating those foods which are not healthy for your body, it will come harmful effect. Like nowadays, you are eating chips, you are eating biscuits, you are eating fast food, you are eating pani puri, you are eating other blah 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 snacks. So in every food there is a harmful or or any substance chemical substance that will give the taste that will increase your taste buds so your mind will fix that 
by the eating of those food, my taste buds are very enjoying, enjoyable from that food. It is enjoying. So I have to eat those food only. But your taste buds are enjoying, but your liver is crying. Why are you eating, bro? These types of foods. Okay, he's asking. But mouth is telling, I am eating very taste, tasty food. So I am enjoying. Don't worry. You will you will get all the uh, toxic substance to you. You have to clear that. So who will clear that? Liver will clear that. Okay. So whatever that like here are some examples are given. Alcohol. Alcohol is also a harmful substance. Okay. Alcohol is changed to acetate, which is two carbon molecule that can be used in cell respiration. Medications are all prominently toxic. Here, one important thing I have to mention that alcohol is also very harmful. Here, medications, all the drugs which are used are toxic to the liver. But the liver produce enzymes that break them down or change them. But here, we have got new natural ability to the liver that it will break down all that it will kill all the toxic substance and convert them. Which given in proper dosage, a medication exerts its therapeutic effect, but is then changed to less effective substance that are usually excreted by the kidney. An overdose of a drug means that is too much more for the liver to detoxify in a given time. And the drug will remain in the body with possible harmful effects. This is why alcohol should never be consumed when taking medications. So here, the important thing is that within the dosage, therapeutic, therapeutic for the therapeutic proper purpose means for treatment purpose. If you are taking the medications, those medications are at the level the liver will detoxify them. Liver will kill them. Liver will break down their effect and change them. But if you are giving larger the amount. So, liver will not break down them. Liver will uh, not change them. They will enter into the circulation and they will cause harmful effect. Okay. So, there's the reason drugs are very, very harmful. They are changing the lifestyle. They are changing the um, body structure. They are changing the mental ability. They are changing the everything. They are causing because of... Uh, Harmful effect. They are harmful effect. Okay. So here also he is giving that uh, with the drugs, you are not able to cheat, take an alcohol because alcohol is uh, this is also toxic substance, a drug is a toxic substance, but both will combine and it will cause more toxic toxin to the liver. Such a combination may cause the liver detoxification ability to be overworked. Okay, overwork will happen, ineffective, with the result that both the alcohol and the medication will remain toxic for longer time. Barbiturates is taken as sleeping pills, as sleeping, but consumption of alcohol have to often prove fatal for thus just this reason. So taking sleeping pills along with alcohol is also very dangerous and it will cause fatal. Ammonia is a toxic substance produced by the bacteria in the colon because it is soluble in water. Some ammonia is absorbed into the blood, but it is carried first to the liver by photocirculation. Then the liver converts ammonia to urea, less toxic substance before the ammonia can circulate and damage other organs, especially the brain. The urea formed is excreted by the kidneys. So here very important, the whatever bacteria in the colon is produced ammonia. So there's the reason we have to go daily. We have to clean our stomach daily because if it is not cleaned, so what will happen? The feces will produce extra amount of ammonia. Ammonia is dangerous for all organs. Excess ammonia can, can, uh, can cause uh, brain problems, other kidney problems, etc. etc. So here, liver will convert the ammonia into urea. Is it will come? It will cause less harm, but it is also harmful. So basically, here liver have their functions, but what is our responsibility to protect our liver? 
to protect our liver. We have, doesn't want to take all this toxic substance, okay, which which uh, which is causing harmful effect on the liver. So it is our duty to protect the liver. So here we have the simple and beautiful explanation, which is given what are the functions of the liver to metabolize a carbohydrate, protein, lipids, and other uh, fats and uh, vitamins and plasma proteins are produced and we have kaffir cells and we have detoxification process in the body. So here we have the very important topic is completed digestive system. So anyone have any doubts, you can ask. So here we have the very another important topic that is metabolism. How the metabolism is happening? Because nowadays all the diseases, it may be hypothyroid, thyroid problems, hyperthyroid, hypothyroid, diabetic, sugar, or PCOD, everything is mostly related to the metabolic disorders. So we'll talk body temperature and metabolism. All this is happening. So We'll, we'll talk to more about that. Now we have anyone have any any uh questions? Please, you can ask. 